I'm starting this project off with this charger I got from Dollar Tree. It's super pretty. It's got these snowflakes all around it. I did want to go over it with some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. And as you could tell, I am just focusing on the outer part of the charger just because I am going to go over the middle section with a gift bag. So I was actually able to find this Jennifer Pugh's gift bag from Dollar Tree. So I'm just finding a good size for how big the middle is going to be. I literally just eyeballed it. You kind of have to play around with it, but I just tried to cut a perfect circle the best that I can. I even folded it in half and cut it down that way. And then I just cut it until I got the size that I wanted. Once I had that, I'm using some matte finish Mod Podge. You could find this little bottle from Dollar Tree. I'm just applying a generous and even amount of that in the center of this charger. And once that is applied, go ahead and place that cutout right on top of the Mod Podge, just smoothing that down with your fingers to make sure that there are no wrinkles or air bubbles. And go ahead and allow that Mod Podge to dry. Next, I'm using a very fine sanding block. You could get these at Dollar Tree as well. I'm just going around the charger and I'm really just focusing on the cut edge of the gift bag. I wanted the cut edge to really blend in with the outer edge of the charger. So I was okay if the bag ripped, just keep sanding it. Again, this is to blend that outer edge of the gift bag to the outer edge of the charger and then just do this until you are satisfied to how this looks. Next, I'm using this Waverly Antique Wax. I'm just applying this all throughout, again, the outer edge of the charger. You could see that I am using a paintbrush, but then I go over this spot again with my finger just to make sure that it blends nice and even. And on the outer edge of the gift bag, I went a little bit heavier with the antique wax. So I just kind of dabbed my paintbrush down and then again, just blended it, it over with my finger. And in some spots, I felt like I went a little dark with the antique wax. So to fix that, just go over it again with that sanding block. And I really feel like this came out so awesome. You could really see those snowflakes really pop. And then to seal and protect that gift bag. I'm just going over it again with another layer of Mod Podge. Go ahead and let that dry. I then got a evergreen pick from Dollar Tree. I'm just hot gluing those pieces to the bottom of the charger. The more hot glue, I would say the better just to make sure that these pieces do not fall apart. And then I am making a cute little fluffy bow using my easy bow maker so my tail is measured at about four inches and then i made these loops at three inches so i made four loops on each side of the three inches and then i did two smaller loops towards the end i probably made them about an inch or so so it's super easy to make a bow using this Easy Bow Maker. Again, it's got the ruler at the bottom and you're literally just going back and forth with this ribbon because it is double-sided ribbon. Otherwise, if it was only one-sided, you would have to twist it in the middle while you are creating each loop. Once that is complete, I'm using a zip tie to hold the ribbon together. Tighten it as tight as it'll go. Go ahead and fluff that bow out. Add some hot glue on the back of it. And then place it right in between the two evergreen pieces. And there you go, guys. I think this came out super duper cute. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.